Hey guys, Lana Scott Lighthouse. This is um, the tail ending of my reading this morning. It's in two parts. I did a short on it, but I forgot to put part one on part one because I just redid it. Because um, in between trying to do it and the video getting cut off, um, I've had to clear off the table because we had to eat. So I just put the last row back on here, and I only have the two last cards to do for you guys. So I just wanted to say that we've got the spirit of Earth here, and on the spirit of Earth, it's talking about more things, just like the flowing river is talking about becoming more grounded having more things come to you okay um uh i wanted to say i wanted to read something of it to you let me see here um um spirit of earth is talking about blossoming all in all areas of where you're at being grounded and that you're enough Connect more fully with nature. Um, it's a time for you to detox. Detox your body. Understand how to use your body's physiology. Um, paying attention to how you feel and respond accordingly. Because just like I had an instance happening yesterday. I was trying to do the um, air signs reading. And I got a phone call in the middle of it. I stopped the reading to answer the phone. And got some bad news about a friend's a family member. And guys... That energy creeping in when I was so open to receiving messages from my guides ruined the rest of my day. <laughs> um, I wasn't trying to let it, but I wasn't expecting the news that she gave me. And it really did. It energetically put me off for the rest of the day. Um, we came back to my place. I sat here and felt really weird for hours. Had to reground, uh, regroup. So you really have to pay attention to that. People that um, interrupt in your time and stuff... Um, I mean, you have to really use your discernment. So from now on, we will not be doing readings without having the do not disturb button hit on my phone. Um, and guys, the reason why this is important for you, because <clears throat> yesterday on the, um, air signs, they got the last card that you got as well. Guys, a lot of you are moving into, in the near future, are moving into, sorry, one of my cards fell off the table. It was just, funny. some of you are moving into elder status. Guys, this is... And this is, it has to do with the new choice that you make because it's talking about confidence, entering your own power, letting your truth be heard and felt by others. Okay. And, uh, um, connecting with the deep inner wisdom that you have as you, um, start realizing you have teacher capabilities, that you're a leader in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, you know, it, it's talking about that as you go into the future, you will be taking some kind of leadership role. If you already feel like that you're running into that, where you're making decisions that have to do with, um, where as you start gathering up your tribe, you start having people ask you questions, come to you for stuff. Guys, that's becoming an elder. That's having been there, done that, or uh, having the, the knowledge or the knowing through your own experiences. Um, and there comes a time when, when your gifts open up, when you have experiences that other people may not experience at all. And when they start experiencing them, they start talking to you and they realize it. And they're going to come back again and again and again and ask you questions and stuff. Guys, I'm already having that happen, but then I am also 60 years old. So, but it's going to happen for a lot of you too. Okay. Um, some, and sometimes you're going to find that you're you're feeling tired, you're feeling out of sorts. But at the same time, you're also going to realize that what you're doing is making a difference. I actually had somebody reach out to me and say, I listen to you every day. Um, and she said, you make a difference in my day. Guys, that's there's nothing better than feeling like you are doing something that's helping somebody. So if you find that you're stepping into a leadership role and becoming an elder, it, you've earned it. Don't let nobody take it away from you, okay? Because when you know that you're making a difference, that's knowing how to, how to serve, how to support others, help them in their dreams. You know, even if in the back, in, in, like in your past, if you've ever felt like you were in the background, and it's, but it's your time to step forward and become the light for others, okay? Because of what you've gone through. Because, um, and guys, I'm not going to use agent as an example because there's a lot of people go through a lot of more or have a lot more abilities come through a lot sooner that become elders in their 20s, in their 30s. So your age doesn't have anything to do with it. My gifts just took a long time to come to the forefront. But I just want to point it out that it's not always going to be because of your age. So don't let that stop you. If you've got people coming around you and you're very knowledgeable about something and they ask you questions and they want you to share that information, guys, be more than willing to want to serve if that is what, you know, is, is coming your way. Because... 
Nothing feels better than somebody asking you something and you being able to help them because they're totally confused. Does it see that joy on their face? Guys, it means a lot. It, and I'm, I'm not talking about somebody with narcissist being a narcissist or anything like that. We're talking about stepping into a leadership role because you've been there, done that. And people are now asking you questions and you'd rather steer them right than them go off in the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? So guys, take that how it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, the air signs yesterday also got the elder card. Guys, that's huge. Think about it. If you're do doing something that where either you've got a business or you've become a teacher of some sort, or you're doing something and people come to you wanting to know answers and you're willing to do that, there's not, not everybody wants to be a teacher. Not everybody wants to step into that role of helping to, to help guide people. So if that's what you're doing, guys, enjoy it. You've earned it. Okay. So that's part two of the uh, fire um, signs. Um, I'm really sorry that it got, because guys, I turned my phone and I hit the end button and there was just nothing I could do. I tried everything on my phone to go back into that video and start over, but I didn't hit the pause button. Apparently I hit the end button. So guys, that's what I have for you today. That is um, part two of the fire signs. And um, that is also why it took me another day to get them up because I answered the phone yesterday and it was just really, um, it just, the, the, the information I got received didn't have nothing to do with me, but it totally threw me off my game for the whole day. I mean, I just ended up feeling extremely, um, it was just really weird, guys. Um, but anyway, so uh, this is, again, this is Lana Scott Lighthouse, guys. If y'all like the work that I'm doing, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I am going to get the water signs up this today, um, or get the water uh, signs done this evening and get them posted up as probably not till tomorrow because my phone's just not wanting to upload. It's really, really slow out here in the mountains. All right, guys. Thank you, and we will see you next time.